I would define the Hispanic Latino culture as diverse, ambitious, rich in culture, um, and really uh, family oriented. If I was to describe it, I would just say rich, rich in culture, rich in its people. A lot of times it's the food, it's the music, right? But it's also any type of challenges or any successes that we have. It's finding those common relationships and lived experiences that really, I think, define the community. The Latino community can be very family oriented, very together, united. In Hispanic culture, typically, they'll give uh, their kids middle names, and their names will usually be derived from somebody in the family. So Anthony is from my grandfather's side. So Anthony, the traditional spelling, uh, Avila is my dad's name, and then Gomez is my mom's name. So with Hispanic culture, they tend to hyphenate those. It's important for financial advisors to be sensitive to that, especially if that's a market that they're looking to tap into. The last name, it comes from a proud place too, so that's part of that culture. Well, my parents are from Mexico, and being raised here, it's such a, a great experience because not only that I was able to um, be raised with the, Amer with the Mexican background, also with the American background. If I'm asked, you know, it's Latino, it gets tricky sometimes. Sometimes I'm Latino, sometimes I'm Hispanic, sometimes I'm Mexican-American, sometimes I'm Latinx. So I don't like to be put in one of those boxes. I don't think most people do. I was born with Mexican um, parents. Grew up in the United States, but my heritage is Mexican. I'm actually a naturalized citizen, so I was born in Mexico, but I've been here my whole life. So I'm American for sure, but I definitely like to remind myself that I'm also Mexican. So. Living in Southern California in terms of my, my roots, my Hispanic heritage, uh, comes a lot from my grandfather's side. They were from um, Chihuahua, Mexico, so then they emigrated over to the state. So a lot of how I identify is Mexican. I am Mexican-American and it's, it's important to me. Um, what naturally just comes out is I'm Mexican. Wealth is like how much do I have saved for my retirement? How much do I have saved for my children's retirement? And then we've got our parents to take care of. So wealth is very broad when it comes to thinking about wealth in, um, in my perspective. Wealth for us is, is family. It's leaving, leaving your, your future generations something that they can lay a foundation on. That's what wealth is for us whether it's going to college, getting my master's, helping my niece go to college, helping any of my other um, nephews or nieces go to college, having that freedom to do and follow your dreams, I think is what I would define wealth as. I actually just talked to my mom about it because she just retired, right? And she doesn't have the regular, I guess, what you would say, the normal American dream package of retirement, but our parents are, you know, to them, wealth is home ownership. The needs when my, when my parents, immigrants who came to this country, their needs were finding a job and getting us through and pushing us through. The needs that we have now for a second generation, third generation is working off those foundations that they laid. When I talk to my parents about uh, their financial security in the future, they're more concerned about their end of life. You know, where are they going to be when they pass? But when we ask about retirement, they didn't think about that two or three times. So it's all about faith and our culture and our, and our tradition. For my parents, it was um, owning a home. That was huge. If you owned a home, you were successful. Um, putting food on the table, not needing any assistance. Like no government assistance, nothing like that. Just providing for yourself. It was saving money, putting it in a savings account. You asked my father what the market was to tell you it was a store down the street. It, it wasn't the stock market. So be sensitive to the first generation, specifically because they tend to hold on to tradition a little bit more in terms of, I wanna hold on to my money. Breaking that barrier with those sort of older folks um, can be tough, but well worth it, because once you build the loyalty with them, I will tell you that they will be loyal to you.